Hi, this is Booklooms, and today I have an Alpha Loom pattern to share with you. This is Henry Storybrooke from the TV show Once Upon a Time. As you can tell, it says Once Upon a Time like it does in the show, and then it's actually double sided. And I put a really teensy picture of Regina and a really teensy picture of Snow White and Prince Charming. So today, for this video, I am going to share with you the pattern that I made up to make this. This is the pattern for Henry's book. I, at the end of the video, you can pause so you can keep following the pattern. And I'm also going to provide a link in the description box so that you can, ha so that you can uh, get the pattern and print it out if you would like to do that. So I'm not going to show you how to make the entire pattern because it's pretty repetitive, but I will show you how to start. And if you have trouble following the pattern and, or if you don't know how to use the alpha loom to follow the pattern, you can watch my crayon box video because I'll describe how to follow a pattern in more detail. Or you could always leave a comment. So, like I said, this is an alpha loom pattern for the new rainbow loom alpha loom. And I'm going to show you how to start this. And then you can continue it on your own. So the first thing I want to say is that I am going to be using the rainbow loom cocoa bands for this because there aren't brown alpha loom bands out. And then I will also be using yellow alpha loom bands for the yellow parts of the pattern. So basically, the first thing that we're going to do because we're gonna start off our project is we are, since this is a regular rainbow loom band, I'm going to take it and twist it around my hook once. So that's what I'm always going to do when I'm using alpha loom bands. And now I'm going to take it off and oops, I'm going to make an X. So I made my X. And now, because we're following our pattern, I'm going to make X's all the way down. So now, as you can see, we followed our first pattern and we have laid out all of our doubled over brown X's. So now, since we have one set of bands on the loom, we're going to take our clear tie band and we're gonna place it over the X's. And now we're done with this row, so you can mark it off. And now we're going to move on to this row. So this row, we're going to take a single brown band, twist it over once, and we're gonna place it here. And now all we have to do is place the yellow bands down until we reach here. So now we've laid the five yellow alpha bands across, and now we just need one more doubled over brown band for this row. So we've doubled it on the hook, and now we'll put it on the loom. So now, as you can tell, we have two sets of bands on our loom. Whenever we have two sets of bands on our loom, it's time to loop. So the first thing you're always going to do is bring over the white tie band like that. And then what you're going to want to do is lift up the bottom band. Do that on both sides.
and you're going to want to push these down. So now that you only have one set of bands on the loom, you're going to want to take another clear tie band. And place it across. So now that you've laid your clear tie band here, what you can do is continue on with your pattern. So right now we are at the third row, so you would just add a brown band, yellow bands all here, and another brown band here. And then when you get to the end of your pattern, you could just keep going on and then you would close it off with C-clips. And if you need help doing that, once again, you can use my crown video as reference, or you could leave a comment. When you finish your storybook, let me get mine. When you finish your storybook, you may want to put the words once upon a time on it, or, or, and, or, <laughs> You might want to put the little pictures on it as well. The little pictures that I cut out and I will put a link to those as well so you can cut them out and then what I did is I used crazy glue to glue them on and it, it seemed to work pretty well because they are still on and they haven't fallen off. So I will have a link for both the storybook pattern and for the words once upon a time I used these and the little pictures. So I really hope that this pattern helped. If you have any questions please let me know. This is my first time just doing a strictly pattern video so please let me know if you need assistance on actually making the storybook and then I would make a tutorial for that but if everybody seems to just be able to follow the, the pattern that is fine by me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope it helped and I hope that you have a great day.